What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a, a water alarm. So first of all, what you're going to need for this project is a 0 .01 microfarad capacitor. So go to place, component. So to basically go to capacitor, go to 0 .01 capacitor. Okay. Next, what you want to do is you want to put place a 2N3904. This would be under transistor, NPN, Trinet. Then you want to go place a 2N3906 transistor. And you also want to place a 15K capacitor. Basic, go to basic, resistors, and type in, and eh, let's scroll down actually. And go down to 15K. So it's pretty good. And then you're going to want to place a 620K be down further 620k and then you're going to want to place a speaker which for this one will be using a buzzer I don't know if it will simulate it but you can use a speaker to oh. go to indicators go to buzzer and then go to buzzer and then what you want to place is a battery or a power supply or DC wherever DC power and change that to 9 volts and you need to put a ground right here. Go ahead and put, change this to 9 volts and now we're all set to go. Alright, so we're going to set this over here. We're going to put the 3906 right there. We're also going to put this right here somewhere. Then what you want to do is you want to place the capacitor up in the center of these three that I just moved. Then you want to put 15K right here, rotate it, rotate the 620K, place it right here. Okay, let's just line up. And you want to place the buzzer right here. Don't want to do that. Okay. And put the ground up close right here. Move it a tiny bit down because we're going to need to put, place something in a second. Alright, go to place, com connectors, and off page connector. Basically, what this is is basically just a wire or a probe, whatever you want to call it. Place these up here, rotate them, and place them like that. Okay. Alright, now we're going to connect everything. So, just follow what I'm doing and then I'll, get, I'll include a file in the description where to download this. Because I have a MediaFire account and you can download my files for free. Alright, let's see. Comes over here. Over here. Comes down. Nope, I didn't connect it. This comes down here. That. Place it up here, place it here, place the negative speaker also down here. Place this up here, and place this right here. There we go. Let's see if it simulates, because I doubt it because it's wired, but maybe if we connect them, maybe that will work. See, it doesn't work. But this does work in reality, it's just because it's wired. But let me see if I can connect them somehow, like this. Because basically what you do is you put the wires into water and that will make it work because water is a conductor also. So basically when, yeah. so basically when you put some water, the conductor, the conductance in the water make uh, allows the buzzer to buzz off. And actually I forgot a part. forgot this part right here. 620K. I actually lied. Wrong one. This goes down here. And actually, I don't like how I did that. And this comes over here. I got confused with the resistor. All right. So basically, what this does is when you put the two wires right here into water, it will make the buzzer go off because water is a conductor as well, and it basically completes the circuit when you put it in water. Thank you for watching this little tutorial on the water alarm. Have a nice day.